Virgo, this is your weekly reading. Let's see, what do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? <clears throat> if you have Leo in your chart, go check that. Because you have the same card that Leo had at the beginning of their reading. Leo, I... Sh oh, there we go. You must check Leo if you have Leo in your chart. Virgo, I see here that there is something that you feel righteous about that you are defending. Something that you feel it's the right thing to do, that you are doing. And you don't care how many people that you have to stand against. You truly believe in what you are defending. You are defending something that sits very well with you and your soul, your spirit. And you're willing to take it as far as it takes. It's like you don't care of the consequences. Which is very, very interesting for a Virgo. And I keep thinking of Leo now. I think you might be dealing with a Leo. Or you might have Leo in your chart. Because I keep having Leo in my mind. And Knight of Wands is a Leo card. There is something that you truly believe in, whatever this is, because it could be anything, okay? But you will know what I'm talking about. If this resonates with you, you don't have to make it fit. This is something that you truly believe in strongly. It is almost the foundation of you, the essence of you. So whatever you are defending, this means a lot to you. <clears throat> And you're defending it with your heart. You don't, it's, there is, there is the, I don't care of the consequence. I will defend this with all my heart. With all my will. Doesn't matter how many I have to stand up against. This can be the system as well. You have spirit helping you. You're not alone. <laughs> you might seem alone to a lot of people, but you are not alone. You have spirit guarding your mission. You have spirit making you feel alive for pursuing or defending whatever that you're defending. This can be a situation or a person, take it as it resonates, but this something is really important to you. Like it really sits well with you, your being. There's something, okay, there's someone here, a different energy here that I see for you, Virgo. There is someone that is in your energy that needs to be... What's the word I'm looking for? You need to be careful of this person. Okay, so that's how it starts. It's, it's a person that you trust. This can be even a, a person that you love. Well, this person is working against you behind you. This person is, is spying on this person is spying on your every move. You could be even with this person, but they are in your business so much. And we have the fucking devil. There we go. The devil next to the lovers. This is not someone that uh, you think who they are. Does that make sense? So this is not the person that you think they are. This is someone that you will never see coming. This is someone that will backstab you and you will be like so much in shock about the backstabbing instead of the pain that you're feeling. This is someone that you will have a long time recovering from their betrayal. Because they're close to you. They are so close you don't see it. You have the Seven of Swords and the Lovers between the Seven of Swords and the Devil. This person doesn't have good intentions towards you to say the least. They are working against you without you knowing they are against you in disguise. 
they do say keep your friends close but your enemies closer or something like that but this is on another level because you're not aware of this person being your enemy Ooh. this person could be contracted to work against you in this lifetime because whatever that you are defending is something that will make a difference in so many lives around you and they are sent here to disrupt that so you need to be careful of this entity this doesn't have to be a human entity but they can be a human entity so this can be an evil spirit that looks very cute very innocent very friendly and uh, they could be working against you because they're using you they're using themselves as a, as a disguise so that they you don't see their betrayal coming tell me more about this person what are they planning what are they planning wow at the moment this person is very hard at work and they do have an accomplice or accomplices that they are feeding information to. This person is in a partnership of some kind against you. Their partner in crime, I should say, is uh, knows all about you. And they are both working against you. But mainly, the person that is in contact with you is one person, which is the fucking lovers and the devil. They could have a Gemini or a Capricorn in their chart. But what I see here, Virgo, is this person is working with other people to make their mission work against you more easily. There are few people here that are planning things against you working hard actually to prevent you from doing whatever that you are doing or meant to be doing anything else for virgo this will be revealed to you within time oh i was actually correcting it will be soon this person will be revealed to you soon and I'm, I'm getting strong lovers energy. It can be a close friend, but that you feel so much for, but it can be a lover because I see here, you have the lovers and the two of cups. This is someone that will be exposed by spirits soon. So you don't have to worry about that, but be ready. Because he won't, he, he will sting. <sighs> this is someone that you have feelings for, whether this is a friendship or a lover. But nonetheless, your feelings will be hurt when you find that out. <coughs> Maybe they're not happy about me saying that either. But I said it, so it's too late now. Virgo, let's see the Major Arcana here for you. What do we have for Virgo? That was quick. We have the Magician, number one. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. Don't let these people get to you even if they are exposed to you even if they show you their true colors be glad that they showed you their true colors because at the end of the day you don't need a fake person around you so instead of being shocked and grieving the person that betrayed you be thankful and pray to your god that you are grateful for showing them soon sooner than later soon is better than later right so just thank your God for exposing them. Best of luck. I'll see you soon.